Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Custom Spray Mods. In this video, I'm going to keep painting the Speed Triple. I've got my design all laid out how I want it. Now I've pulled the parts off the bike and I'll start painting them. I've got them here, I'm going to sand them, then I'll prime them and I'll start doing my lines and candies and metallics. It's going to be awesome, check it out. Custom Spray Mods. Okay, so I'm going to start sanding this part and it's got a sticker underneath the clear, so I'm going to sand all that off, remove the sticker, then I'll prime it and I'll be ready to paint. Okay, so I've removed the stickers, now I'm going to sand the rest of it with 240 grit sandpaper. These parts are going to need some primer filler, just to level out the area where the sticker was removed. All the other fairings, because the paintwork is in good condition, I can sand it with some grey scuffing pads and some scuffing paste. This is going to clean it all up and key the surface, that's going to allow my new paint to stick really well. Now that the parts are all clean, sanded and dry, it's time to set them up for spray painting. Clean them with wax and grease remover. Then you need to secure them down to something because these are light so that when the air pressure from the spray gun hits the part, it can send them flying. So make sure you use some tape, tape them down and you won't have any problems. Now I'm going to use the Concept Euro Primer. It's a 2K high build primer that can go directly to plastic or a sanded surface. I'm going to spray about three to four coats, then I'll be ready for my next step. Now I'm going to spray a guide coat over the parts that I need to sand and sand it with some 800 grit wet sandpaper. I'm using a block, I'm going to sand all that guide coat off and that's how I know that the whole part is being sanded. Okay, I've got all my parts set up. Now I'm going to spray my first layer of paint. Now I'll let that dry, give it a sand, and I'll be ready to do some more masking. Now I'm going to use some Concept Adhesion Promoter and spray that over the parts. That's going to help my paint stick. That I'm a freak when I'm talking to myself, but it's like I was too weak to be so horny. Now that I've sprayed the silver down, I'm going to mix up some flake. I'm using a clear base coat. Then I'm just going to keep adding flake till I'm happy with the amount. Now I'm going to add some 2K thinners and that's going to make it suitable to go through the spray gun. I'm going to use the same gun that I used with the primer, 1.8mm gravity feed. Spray about three to four coats of flake or keep spraying until you're happy with the amount of flakiness you've got on there. Okay, so I've got my silver base and my silver flakes down. Now I'm going to mask up and spray two different types of candy. So I'm going to spray the candy down just over the whole panel. Then once I spray the clear, I'll let that dry, I'll sand it back. Then I can mask off which bits I want to be candy and then spray my next colour after that. It will work out, you'll, you'll find it at the end of the video. But to get an idea of where I'm going to put the candy, I've taken photos of all the panels and kind of photoshopped in just roughly where I want to put the candy. So I'll use these as a guide, mask it up, and then spray my different candies. Do that now.
Now that the red candy is down, I'm going to mask over it and then I'm going to spray a different colour candy. Then on the one panel, I'll have two different candies. It's important to allow any base coat dry for at least half an hour before you start masking over it. You don't want it to be soft when you're putting that tape on. Okay, I've masked up all the red candy. Now I'm going to spray gold candy over the rest of the panels. Okay, so I sprayed my silver base coat down, then I sprayed silver flakes on top of that. Then I masked it up, sprayed red candy, masked it up again, sprayed gold candy. Now I'm going to spray clear coat over everything. I'm going to let that dry overnight, then tomorrow I'm going to sand it back. Then I'm going to mask up where I want the red and the gold candy to go. Then I'll spray black over everything, and I'll clear it again. It's going to look cool. Here we go. when I'm singing it's like I couldn't see straight on my own Now that the clear coat is all dry, I'm going to spray the insides of the plastic with just a gloss black. That's just going to hide the original colour and make it look a bit better when I put the barbs back on the bike. Now that it's all dry, I'm going to sand it with 1000 grit wet sandpaper. That's going to smooth it all out from the flakes, smooth it all out from the different lines, then I'll be ready to start masking them. The parts are all sanded and looking good. Now I'm going to clean it with some wax and grease remover. Then I can start masking up. I'm going to use some fine line tape. This is 3mm fine line tape. I'm just going to mask up all the parts that I want to stay candy. Can you tell me when you want to be in time? There's a million different places and a million different heights. I'll climb the tallest of the mountains, the highest place I find. So that I can look over at before me what is mine. Can you say that I disappeared? Can you say that I wasn't there for you when you went into hiding on the front steps of your porch? Okay, so I painted the red candy and the gold candy, sprayed the clear over it, let it dry, sanded it all back with the 1000 grit wet sandpaper. I've masked up where I want the red and gold candy to be. Now I'm going to spray some black base coat over everything, peel it off, 
the tape off, and then I'm gonna spray clear again, and then I'll have my awesome flaky candy patches. So, I'm gonna mix up my base coat, spray it on now. Check it out. A little bit of black has bled through the masking and gone onto the red. So because I've got a base layer that is 2K clear, all I have to do is just put a bit of tape over the line and then I can wipe off that new base coat just with some thinners on a rag and that'll give me nice clean lines. So I'll go around, do that to all the parts, then I'll be ready for my clear. Well there you go, painted these parts, did them in candy red, candy gold with a metallic black pearl base coat over everything, masked it all up. Um, I'm going to let these dry then I'll sand them back and flow coat them just to make them a bit more even. Then um, once I'm finished the rest of the bike, I can attach it on. I've only got the fuel tank to go and I'm also going to do some carbon fibre dipping on these parts and the exhaust system is going to get a heat changing paint, so stay tuned for that. It's all coming up on the Speed T project. See you next time. Just want to make a quick mention, um, if you get a chance, check out my website, customspraymods.com.au. There's a store on there. You can buy everything that I use, painting-wise, spray guns, everything like that, paint. You can buy from the website, so check it out. Um, if you're in Australia, I can send stuff to you, but if you're overseas, you can't send paint. But otherwise, have a look, and you um, might pick yourself up something that you need. Do some awesome custom painting. I didn't click. <laughs>